Alrighty, so tonight we're going to have a nice big chicken roll on a spitz. Fingers crossed. We're gonna set up the fire pit. We're gonna get some coals going as well. We've got some nice heat beads over there. The 12 volt spit in the package up there as well. So what I'll do is I'll sit the camera down and I'll go inside and show you what we got inside as well. This is our chicken boneless roast. We're gonna sit that on the skewer in a sec and see if we can get the prongs to hold it nice and steady on the skewer. First of all, I'll get the coals going and we'll come in here and get that ready. We've got the heat beads sitting in the starter and we've got some fire starters down the bottom. We'll just keep the fire starters going under here so we'll light them up. See them heating up underneath so they'll just burn for a little while and get the coals hot starting to smoke up straight away so that's exactly what we want it's going to smoke for a little while we'll try and keep some of that wind out of the way as well i've got a little barrier here for the wind um, so hopefully that wind stops and we can get those coals nice and hot and we'll go inside and get the chicken ready reset we got is pretty straightforward it's just got your two poles little guides for the skewer on both sides and then it's got your 12 volt motor as well so the skewer just pops into that little square hole there takes 2d batteries and then you can see that turning over there pretty straightforward nothing special to it what we'll do is we'll pop these each either side of the fire pit we'll bang them into the ground and get them all set up been about 15 minutes we've got the chicken ready We're just waiting for the coals to get all sorted basically with the coals you want to start to glow from the middle and that just means that they're cooking all the way through we'll pop them into the fire pit we'll start getting the chicken rotating it should be good it's been about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes there's a fair bit of heat coming off those coals and we're going to pop them in here and we'll get this off I've made sure that's all rotating nicely so we don't need to add any weight or anything to it sometimes if this is uh, you know fairly lopsided you'll want to add a little weight on the end just to help the motor spin over but this is all pretty even it's not a massive chicken so it's all it's all pretty good so definitely some heat coming off there and we'll pop them in here now going down now we just had a beautiful sunset in the background we went live on Instagram as well chicken is almost done I reckon it's been on for about an hour and 15 minutes and it's looking pretty good have a look at that those coals are working a treat so we're going to get the temperature probe out in just a sec and we'll check what the temperature is doing on the inside of the chicken just so we can make sure it's all nice and cooked all the way through. It should be good. I don't reckon it's going to be far off. We'll get that probe in there and have a look. So this little temperature probe we've got, we can um, flick it on. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but 
It's got all the different meat selections down the side. We'll go down to chicken. Oops. Go down to chicken and we want well done chicken. So we are trying to get it to 75 degrees. And I'll flick this off. We'll give it a So it's saying we're spot on. It's pretty good timing. We'll give it another proke over here. 76. 76. Looking pretty good. I reckon we're about done.